What does that even mean, Bowers Game Cardinar? Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another gameplay video, another solo gameplay video. Today I'm going to be playing Catan the Dice Game. There's no duh, the Catan Dice Game. Role play settle. I got the standard edition. Wah, wah, wah. Don't have the deluxe edition. Whatever. Uh, but anywho, this is actually going to be a uh, solo game, but I'm going to be trying to beat uh, me and my friend Flanagan's high score we had earlier today. He had a 67 and I had 102 because I crushed him, but I'm going to be trying to play that. Now, there are two different ways you can play. You can play on the standard edition uh, on Island 2, but you can also play on Island 1. We're going to do Island 1 because it's way simpler, and uh, maybe if you guys enjoy this video, I'll do a Island 2 video as well. So in this game, you're going to get uh, six dice. You're going to get your, uh, your little mat right here, your little uh, player sheet. And on the dice, you're going to get a couple different sides that you'll probably be familiar with. You're going to have your sheep and your bricks and your hay and your wood, and your, uh, you're going to have gold. And you're going to have ore. And you're going to be rolling dice. It's going to be Yahtzee rules. Uh, and you're going to be trying to build your way around this little map right here and score as many points as you can. you got 15 turns. So without further ado, you'll figure out how to play the game as we play because it is a very, very simple game. So I will start off and let's see what I'm going to roll. So I got uh, some sheep going on here. I got one, two, three sheep. Not really helpful because the sheep, uh, just like real Catan, are pretty freaking useless. But you know what? You can actually build what's called a knight with the sheep, which can be incredibly helpful. So you know what? I'm going to see if I can get myself an ore. So I will keep a sheep and I will keep uh, uh, a uh, wheat and I'll keep a, uh, a wood. And I will roll once again. And looky there, I got more garbage. None of this is going to help me at all. Uh, so I got one more roll. And there we go. Now I got it. So I got myself a... Bloop, bloop, bloop. I got myself uh, a knight right there because I have an ore, a sheep, and a wheat. Uh, I can't build anything else with two woods and an ore, so that first turn was pretty uneventful. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to circle this one right here to symbolize that I have gotten... Uh, this knight right here, and you're going to go around the circle right here. So the sixth knight you get is going to be worth six points, the fifth knight five points, four points, so on and so forth. Then I'll mark up here that I got one point on my first turn. Not a very good start to the first turn, but now one time throughout the game we'll be able to convert one die into a stone, which can help me on later in the game. So let's go on to turn number two. Roll it up, and ooh, we got a road that is not too shabby at all. We could potentially get another knight right there if we wanted to try to, but you know what? I don't think I'm going to try and do that. I think I'm actually going to try and go for the cities. We're going to see how many of the cities we can get. So uh, in order to get the city, you need uh, everything but an ore and a gold. So I have a sheep right there. So I am one wheat away from getting myself... Uh, there. So yes, that is awesome. So right there, I have myself a city. I also have one piece of brick, so if I can get one wood, I will be able to build a road as well. That'd be a great start, but it's not a great start. I got a sheep, and that is of no help, but still, I am going to be able to go right here and circle this bad boy, because I have successfully built this guy right here. And then I, uh, that's all I built, so I'm going to be gaining three points this turn. So, boo, after two turns, I have a whopping four points. Uh, not the best start, but in the game I scored 102 if you want to check that out. I actually started off and I only scored two points in the first two rounds. This is a very, very luck-based game. Uh, obviously it's a dice game, so yeah. So, wow, that is a lot of terrible freaking sheep, which I don't want to see. I don't need any of these sheep. Uh, I, I literally cannot use any of these sheep. This is atrocious. This is the worst roll ever. I have four sheep and two ore. I cannot use any of you know what? Actually, uh, it was four sheep and two ore, so we're going to keep... You know what? We're going to we're gonna risk it. We're going to keep two sheep, we're going to keep two ore, and we're going to get two wheat right now. We're going to get lucky. That's not two wheat at all. That is the opposite of two wheat. That is actually a brick and a gold. This is looking bad. This is looking very bad, and oh, we got lucky. We luckily were able to get one, uh, one wheat and one gold, which does not help us. So what we have now is we have yet another knight that we can use right here. But the way knights work is I can use that right now if I want, and I think I will. So I'm going to actually turn this knight, I'm going to convert 
uh, I'm going to convert this gold into a wheat, and I'm pretty sure you can do this, I think it said in the rules, which means I have unlocked another knight, so bloop, right there, I've unlocked that knight, which means I actually scored five points that round. Not a bad little round, and we will continue on our way. So after the first three rounds, we have nine points. So, oh my goodness, look at all that brick. Brick, brick, brick. Mm. Uh, I don't need that much brick, though. So we will keep a brick and a wheat. No, we're actually going to keep two bricks, and we will roll on. Should I keep three bricks? Yeah, we'll keep three. Yeah, we'll keep three bricks and see how our second roll goes. We were really hoping to get some wood. We did not get any wood at all. This is terrible. So we will actually uh, roll four. We've got two bricks left there. Let's see what we got. There's a wood. Oh my good gravy. There's a wood. We really needed that wood. Uh, and nothing else really is going to help us at all. That was not a good turn at all. We did get one road, and that is it. Now, I do want to mention, if there's ever a turn where you can't build anything, that means you score negative two, and scoring negative two in this is really super bad. That was also a really bad turn, but I did get closer uh, to where I need to go, but still, not an ideal turn. Let's keep on keeping on. So we got, we got some options here. We've got ourselves a road. We're going to need a road. Uh, we're going to need a road because we need to get right here. Now, we could also try and get that settlement right there if we wanted to. So we got our road already built. Do we want to try and risk it? Yeah, let's go to that. So we're going to go with a... Uh, we need a brick and we need a sheep. And luckily, we can already convert something to a sheep because we've unlocked this. So uh, this is very likely. All we need is a brick and we are going to be money. Not a brick. All right, let's do it again. Third roll. Not, uh, that's a gold. That's, uh, that's not really ideal because the way this works is you can, you can convert two gold in anything you want. Let me, let me read the rules real quick and I will be right back. All right, I checked the rules to see if I could potentially turn this two gold in anything I want. I can do that. That's a, that's completely legitimate, so I can turn this two gold in anything I want. But at the same time, I could not turn one of these into something I want and then convert the other one using my knight. So uh, I cannot do that. But what I will do is turn these two golds into one brick. And so now I have successfully built two roads this turn, which means I go bloop, bloop, and have gained two points. So next time, I really want to try and focus on getting that settlement right there. So let's go ahead and do that. Roll it up. Did we get our settlement? We got a brick. We got a wood. We got a wheat. That is a great start for getting the settlement. Not to mention, we have unlocked the sheep. So we are guaranteed that we are going to get uh, that settlement right there. And we're going to be gaining four points. So that is not a bad start at all. So we will continue to go. Let's get one naturally so we don't have to use it. So we got one wood right there. Uh... Yeah, yeah, we'll just keep, we'll roll all three again, and no luck at all. We are just not getting luck, so what we are going to do is we're, oh, we can't do that. Oh my goodness, I'm a noob. We have already used our wheat, which means we are totally screwed. Uh, this is not good. All right, so what this means is the only thing we have out of this is one road. So whoop de freaking do we can go right here, and we have one point. Congratulations, folks. You might be watching the lowest scoring game of Catan Dice that has ever been played. Uh, this might be a world record. Let's keep up. Let's, let's see if we can keep this, this hot streak of sucking up. So, what do we got going on right here? This is actually a really good roll right from the get-go. Uh, because we have unlocked one night if we wanted to do that. And we have one road. We could also potentially do one settlement. But I think at this point in time, it's, it's better to just, uh, to just get this and keep it going with uh, the two. So we are going to unlock one road out here. Bloop. Then we got one knight right there. Blop. Which means we got five points that round. So that was not a terrible round. Uh, and then we'll keep going. All right, keep on keeping on. We got a lot of gold, which is generally not a good thing. Uh, we did get a road. Roads are always pretty good, especially considering this game, I've kind of committed to trying to see if I can get that 11. I want to see how that, how that strategy works out. Because like I've said, I've only played this a couple times. So I'm interested to, see, interested to see how the different strategies work. When I scored the 102, I was trying to get all the big cities on the outside. And I was lucky enough to get those. So let's see what we got here. We have, uh, we got a road. So 
that's good. We also have half of what we need in order to build a settlement because we have our brick and our wheat. So let's see if we can get our sheep and our wood. Uh, and actually, we're guaranteed to get this no matter what. So this is great. Let's just see if we can roll it on natural. And we cannot. We have a boatload of brick, though. Wow, we have four brick. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our uh, our special ability, our special knights right here. We're going to convert one into a sheep, one into a wood. And what that means is, those get crossed off because you can only use them once per game, that we built one road and we also built a settlement, which means, bloop, we're going to score five points. So that's another five-pointer. Not too shabby. Not really great, but you know what? Whatever. We're doing our best we can. Try my best here, man. All right, let's keep on keeping on. We got ourselves a road. We also could potentially have another settlement, so let's keep that going there. Now, let's keep all this stuff. So let's see if we can double dip our chip and get a road and a settlement. That'd be awfully nice. We have two roads, uh, so all we need is a sheep, and we're going to be able to get a road and a settlement. This would be very nice. This could potentially get us back in the game right here. Give me a sheep. Give me a sheep. One in six odds, I get a sheep. And, oh, I got myself a sheep. Which means we're going to be able to build a road and a settlement. So we're going to go circle that five-pointer and also circle right here, which means we scored six points there. Hey, hey, we're scoring some real points here. All right, let's keep on keeping on, see what happens. All right. We have one, two, three, four, five, six turns. This game ends after fifth turn, 15 turns, and the turns, as you can see, are extremely quick. Uh, we do have a road if we want to do that. We also have, uh, we're a sheep away from building a settlement, which uh, would be worth seven points to us. They're starting to get pretty valuable. Uh, so let's, let's, let's push our luck. Let's see if we can get another, let's see if we can get lucky again and get another road and another city, or a settlement, I should say. Uh, you know what? Let's stop pushing our luck because that was our second roll and our second roll sucked. We need to get a brick. Come on. Come on. Not a brick, but what we did get is two gold, which means we can turn this two gold into bloop. Uh, actually, we can turn that into whatever we want. Uh, and we want, what do we want? We already have a brick. We need a sheep. So we're going to turn this two gold into a sheep, I should say, which means we have scored... Hooray! We have successfully built a settlement, which means we're going to circle the seven, and we're going to gain seven points that round. And as you can see, our points just keep going up. Five, five, six, seven. Let's keep that up. Uh, we, it's going to be difficult to keep it up, but let's see if we can do it. All right, keep on keeping on. Uh, we have used all of our knights except for the ore, so we might potentially want to consider using that ore in order to get that brick over there. That might be a little bit useful. We, we don't want to collect the knights. Uh, you definitely don't want to neglect the, neglect the knights because uh, getting those knights is really helpful sometimes. So let's see. We have got a knight. So boom. We have unlocked our knight. Let's see if we can get ourselves a road as well. So give me a wood. Give me a wood one time. There's a wood one time. So we are happy with that. We are going to go ahead and unlock that road right there. And this brick right here, which is going to be extremely helpful. We could use that brick for a lot of things. So that scores us six points. Not as high as our seven last time, but as you can see right here, we just scored uh, 29 points in that row. Five turns, 29 points. That's not too shabby. Actually, when you factor in, I scored 102 earlier today. That is pretty shabby. All right, so a lot of brick. A lot of brick. A lot of useless, useless brick. Uh, we only really have a couple more roads that we can make if we're going this way. Uh, so I don't know what we're going to do here. All right, well, we're going to keep a brick. We're going to keep we're going to keep all this because we definitely want to build another settlement so we can get our nine points. So let's see what's going on. Uh, we need some wood. None of that is wood. Not very helpful. All right, wood me. Wood me. Oh, this is a problem. Uh, it's not a giant problem, though. Because we did actually get our final, uh, our final knight right here, which is going to score six points. So that's good. Um, we have a brick, which isn't really helpful. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to score this. So we scored six points for this one right here. And now we are, I, I believe the rule says we're actually allowed to use this whenever we want. So we could potentially use our wild right here and turn this into... Nothing, 
actually. We could make a road, and that would be completely useful. It's useless. So we're going to score six points there, and we will continue onward. We only have three turns left. I'm just hoping we can break 50. I don't know if we're going to be able to break 50. We're going to break 50. We're going to do it, I believe. it. So we got roads. That's great, right? Not. All right, so we got a wood. We got a brick. We got a sheep. Let's get ourselves that settlement. Let's get a wheat. No wheat. No wheat for me. No wheat ever. No, no, naughty. And actually, you know what? I think we might settle for this. I think this is what we're going to do. We are going to... Oh, I don't want to do this. Yeah. We're going to use our wild right here, and we're going to turn that into a wheat. So we'll mark that off. Uh, and we're going to turn this bad boy into a wheat, which means we're going to get a road, and we're going to get a settlement. So we can circle the 9, and we can circle the 1, and we scored 10 points that round. Yeah! We're breaking 50, guys. Let's see if we can beat my friend Flanny. Once again, he had... S no, he had... What did he have? He had 67. He tried to make it all the way up to there. He did not get to the 11. Can we get to the 11? I don't know. We only have two turns, but I think we can do it. We also have a brick we have not used and an ore. That ore, really not going to be very helpful, though. Um, which is unfortunate. I feel like it's a waste somewhat. So, two more turns left. Let's see how this first turn is going to turn out. Uh, it's pretty bad. Not. I'm going I'm to be, be completely honest with you. Um, you know what? Actually, I think what we're going to do is we're going to flip, flip the script a little bit. So what we got going on here is we can potentially go over here and get the city, which we have not been focusing on at all, and get seven points. But in order to do that, we are going to need to get right here and then build a city with three ores and two grain. Now we have two ores and two grains, and we also have not used our knight for the one yet. So we're going to be able to turn it whatever... Oh, we can't do that because we only have six dice. Son of a monkey. This roll is absolutely atrocious. We cannot use anything on this roll. Oh, this has gone awful. All right, so the first roll was an absolute complete waste. Second roll, not as complete waste, because we got a road, which is great. Um, we also were able to successfully get a wood and a grain, which means if we can get both of these to be exactly what we need them to be, which is a brick, which we can convert one to a brick. So essentially, we have to get one sheep. We need a sheep. We need a sheep. Give me a sheep. Give me a sheep. Not a sheep at all. Alright, so we have one brick. Uh, we have one road, I should say. So, circle that. We got a road. And we got one point. Wow. This is just dandy. Last turn. Last turn. Let's see if we can get that 11-point settlement we got left sitting up top there. Um, we start off decent enough. We got half of it. And actually, you know what? Boom. We're guaranteed to get it because we got two gold. And we will turn these two gold into a sheep, which means we can do that. And then we can go ahead and use our last knight right there, or one of our knights we have not used. Cross that off, turn one into a brick, which means, hooray, we're going to score 11 points right here. And uh, there we go. So we have got an 11. So let's go ahead and tally up our score and see how much we got. We got 4, 9, 10, 12, 13, 18, 23, 29, 36, 42, 48, 58, 59, 70. Did I beat my friend Flanny? I did. Yeah, take that, Flanny. With a 70, we have won. But still, I absolutely got crushed by myself earlier who scored 102. 100 and freaking 2. And I just focused completely on running my way around the board and getting the big points. Um, but as you can see, that is Catan the Dice Game, and that is Island 1. Uh, I'll probably be trying out Island 2 in the future, but I will flip the camera around so you can see exactly what my thoughts are on the game. Alright, so that was Catan the Dice Game from Mayfair Games. Uh, I thought this game was kind of interesting, just for the fact that it's called Catan the Dice Game. Now, obviously, now they've switched the name from uh, Settlers Catan to just Catan. So I thought it was interesting that this was called, called Catan Dice Game. I'm rambling. Sorry, I'm a little bit drunk. Uh, but anywho, my thoughts on Catan the Dice Game. I enjoy the game. It's nice, it's light, it's simple. It is solitaire. It is completely solitaire. I haven't played the other side yet. Uh, I'll probably get to that hopefully in the next week or two. Um, but 
I enjoy solo, solo games. If you're watching this, you probably enjoy solo games as well. So the question is, is this worth a purchase as a solo game? And um, I enjoy it. I do. I like it a lot. It's simple. It's fun. It's quick. But it's incredibly luck driven. There's there's a little bit of push your luck kind of elements as you saw, where it's like, do I go for the small easy stuff or do I push my luck and go for the bigger stuff? Uh, do I spend my nights here or there? How do I do that? I feel like the game hits a little bit of a lull once you get out of the nights though. Like once you've unlocked all those nights, it kind of stinks because it's like, oh man. You know, those nights are extremely helpful. Um, so overall, my thoughts on it. They're lukewarm. Uh, I do enjoy the game. I do plan on keeping this game because I like it a lot. I think it's a great solo game. But it's the kind of game where I think it'd be a better mobile app than necessarily a game. But that being said, this is a game that I have a feeling I'm going to just keep keeping all my score pads and just comparing it to myself and seeing if I can ever beat that magical 102. And if you like that sort of thing, then this one definitely might be for you. Also, I'm pretty sure you can probably find this thing for dirt cheap, either used or on Amazon or something like that. So that was Catan the Dice Game from Make Our Games. Uh, you can probably expect a review from me, I don't know, next couple of months. Who the heck knows? I, I got so many games to look at. Uh, but Catan the Dice Game... If it looks like mine for you, be sure to check it out. And as always, if you enjoyed this content, please be sure to click on the subscribe button somewhere down below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.